Niagara Nation, Loveland community, thanks for being here. We really appreciate it. Loveland staff members, always great to have you here with us. Appreciate that too. Mrs. Johnson, thanks for being here. And as always, Mr. Miller from Loveland Magazine, always here to cover our events. Um, I, I get the honor to read their bios as they each individually come up, and you will see that they are not just very good athletes, they're good academically as well as students, and they represent Loveland High School. So again, we are really proud of them, and um, it's been a real nice honor, myself and Mrs. Brewport, their coaches here that are with us today, Mrs. Johnson, we've had the privilege of being around them for um, a number of years now, four years watching them grow. So that's um, a blessing for me. So let's give all of these eight athletes and their parents a big round of applause. The girls have asked me if the coaches are allowed to come up when they Oh, for sure they are. So <laughs> we welcome to the table Ryan Batch. He's here today with his parents, Dan and Julie, and obviously Coach Cranford's here with him. Ryan is going on to the Ohio State University as a preferred walk-on in football. Ryan's current GPA here at Loveland High School is a 4.06. Ryan's also involved in National Honor Society here. He's a member, a four-year member, of our volleyball team, our men's volleyball team here at Loveland High School. This year in football, Ryan was first team all conference in the ECC, first team all district, second team all state. He was a captain of our football team. He was a Cincinnati all-star player, and he's also a finalist for That's My Boy Scholar Athlete Award, which will be honored on February 22nd. It's my privilege to introduce to you Ryan Batch. <laughs> Ryan, go ahead and sign that for um, just, you know, the paparazzi purposes there. And then flip your name tag when you're ready there, buddy. Hey, congratulations. Coach Kelly, are you here? You want to come, come on up with Riley? It's an honor to welcome Riley Massey to the table today. She's here with her mom and dad, Matt and Kim, and Coach Todd Kelly. Riley will continue her soccer career at Taylor University. Riley's current GPA here at Loveland High School is a 4.05. Riley is a member of our track team here. Her coach, Loffman, is here with us today as well. She's a member of our National Honor Society, My Voice, My Choice mentor. She is a spirit club leader. She's a member of our link crew. She's a senior service leader, and she's also on our news crew here this semester at Loveland High School. Her soccer accomplishments this season include all ECC first team, second team all city. She was a senior captain of our Tigers soccer team and helped lead us to a Division I state soccer title this year, our Riley Massey. privilege to welcome Pete to the table. He's here today with his mom and dad, Gretchen and Alan. Pete will continue his golf career at Westchester University in Pennsylvania. Pete's also already been accepted to the Honors College there in international business, minoring in Spanish. Pete's current GPA here 
at Loveland High School is a 4.23. He's a member of our National Honor Society. He's a National Merit Contender Scholar. He volunteers at First Tee, Nest, and Matthew 25 Ministry. He also loves playing Loveland Rec basketball. And if you remember, Pete loves to be in the front row of the spirit section with no clothes on in sub-degree weather <laughs> to cheer everybody on to a state title that we will never, ever forget. So that, that will be forever in my memory. He's like, Mrs. Renner, I'm not, I'd freeze to death before I'm going to put clothes on now. We're going to do this. Okay. In golf, here in his senior year, he's a four-year varsity letterman. He was captain of our golf team this year, ECC team conference champion, and he placed first individually in the ECC tournament. He's also a, an Ohio amateur qualifier in 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, our Pete Matuzak. Congratulations, Pete. Cade Nylum, come on up. We welcome Cade Milam and his parents are with him today, Kelly and Dave. Cade is going to play baseball at the next level at Mount St. Joe University. Cade is also a member of our Loveland High School wrestling team. He did suffer some injuries, but Cade's always working hard to get back out there. He's been a member, an athlete on our baseball team here at Loveland High School the past four years. He also played with the Midland Tribe this last summer, where they placed 16th in the nation on the perfect game circuit. Congratulations to our Cade Milam, who will play baseball at Mount St. Joe University this coming year. Cade also has his paperwork there for Mount St. Joe that he's signed in officially, so that's awesome. Congratulations, Cade. We welcome Taylor. She's seen her parents today, Jessica and Craig. Taylor will play soccer at the University of Louisville this fall. Her current GPA here at Loveland High School is a 3.5. Taylor is also a member of our high school spirit club here, attending many events. She was a two-year member of our Loveland High School soccer team, reaching the state finals in 2015. Taylor plays club soccer for the Cincinnati Development Academy. She was also a member of Cincinnati United Premier Gold soccer team, going to nationals, ranking fifth in the nation for U16s. She was a four-time state club champion as well. Congratulations to our Taylor Nuncio going to the University of Louisville. Good job. Lauren Parker. We welcome Lauren Parker today with her parents, Ann and Mark. Also, Coach Kelly is here with her. Lauren will play soccer this fall at Miami University. Her current GPA here at Loveland High School is a 3.75. Lauren's also a member of Ohio Elite Soccer Program. She trains at Balcone. She's a student council vice president here at Loveland High School 
and the 2018 class representative. She's a student athletic innovator in the athletic department here. She was also part of our news crew in the first semester and a senior service intern. Lauren was captain, one of the captains of our 2017 state championship soccer team. First team all state, all central region, first team all southwest Ohio, and first team all ECC. Congratulations to our Lauren Parker. Way to go, Lauren. Jenna Stanton. Jenna and her personal fan club. Jenna's also here with some of her coaches, Coach Connor. Coach Sam's here with her today. Jenna's also joined by her parents, Jody and Jeff. Jenna will play women's basketball at the College of Worcester this coming year, in her freshman year. Her current GPA is a 3.75. She's also a member of our National Honor Society. She's a Link Crew member. She's a Camp, Council, Camp Kern counselor here in Loveland, a basketball camp counselor. She also officiates for our LYBA, and she's a volunteer assistant for our Loveland Youth Volleyball Program. Her accomplishments in basketball, she's a team captain, she's a four-year varsity player, a scholar athlete recognized in the ECC. She travels in AAU basketball since she's been in fourth grade, so I'm sure her parents are happy to see that come to an end, maybe. <laughs> Get some money back in their pocket. We're really pr proud of Jenna, but most of all, this girl is a very good person. So our Jenna Stanton going on to the College of Wooster. She's also got paperwork there from the College of Wooster that she's signing for him. There you go. Congratulations. Colleen Swift. <laughs> or for those of you who truly know her, Jelly. Welcome, Colleen Jelly Swift to the table. She's here today with her parents, Paul and Mo, and Coach Kelly. Jelly's going to go on and play women's soccer at Moorhead State University. Her current GPA here at Loveland High School is a 4.055. She's also a member of our varsity basketball team, the National Honor Society. She's co-president of our Partners Club here at Loveland High School. She's a member of FCA. And she decided in her spare time she was going to be on the diving club or in the diving team this year, too, because she's got to be busy. Her soccer accomplishments are many, and we're extremely proud. She's a four-year varsity player. She's three-time first team all ECC. In 2016, second team all state. In 2016 and 17, first team all Southwest Ohio as well as all state academic team. This soccer season, she was the ECC player of the year, first team all region, and the Southwest Ohio player of the year. Jelly was first team all state, and she earned the highest honor as the National Coaches Association All-American. Congratulations to our Jelly Swift. Flip that name tag, girl. There you go. Awesome.
Yes, here we are. <laughs>